Monitor and control your EP900 energy storage system from the palm of your hand with the Blue Eddy app. Stay informed about real-time battery level, energy flow, status, and other key metrics, all accessible at your fingertips. Just tap here, and you can check the current alarm S and alarm history. If you want to access and adjust system settings, simply tap it. Here, it indicates how the app connects to your device, Bluetooth, or cloud. This part shows you the most important information about your system, how energy flows within your system. Tap here to view the energy data. It tells how the inverter is working. From this section, you can check out the total solar energy generated and carbon emissions saved by the EP900 energy storage system over time. Introducing the energy flow status, this animation provides you a simple way to understand how energy is flowing. It represents the state of charge of your battery, indicating the current remaining battery level of your EP900. It shows how much power the EP900 energy storage system is drawing from your rooftop solar or solar panels. It shows how much power the EP900 energy storage system is drawing from or feeding back into the grid. It shows how much power is supplying to your household appliance. The inverter includes three operation statuses. This status means that the system switch is turned off or forced off due to a serious failure. As the name implies, this indicates that the inverter is running off the grid. The inverter is connected to the grid. However, the system doesn't charge from or feed electricity back to the grid. Instead, the grid can bypass the EP900 inverter and power your loads directly. You can choose from various time periods to view data, including day, month, year, and to date. Tap the arrows to go back or forth between time periods. If you want to view data for a specific time, click the calendar, select your desired date. Check the boxes to display relevant data. If unchecked, the data will be hidden from view. To view the chart in full screen, simply tap it to zoom in. You can tap a specific point to view detailed data for a particular time. On the Operation Status page, tap this icon to access the setting page. Here, you can modify your device name. Select User Manuals, then you can check the product documents. Tap it to configure your Wi-Fi network. If you don't see the option, try connecting to the EP900 via Bluetooth instead. If you want to share your device, tap it and select OK to generate a QR code for sharing. Tap here, and you can modify the way the app connects to your device. Once saved, the app will automatically connect to your device using the selected mode whenever you tap on the device icon on the My Device page. Here you can check the carbon emission factor. Tap Working Mode, and you can program how the system works by configuring the state of charge limits and charge or discharge schedule. Activate this switch to enable the Manage Charge or Discharge Time function. It's the main switch of the EP900 energy storage system. Keep it on. If you want the EP900 operate smoothly, if it's off, the system has no input or output and will automatically shut down. Keep it on, and whenever there is a problem or any noteworthy event within the system, you will be kept informed and notified via an audible alarm. Go to the firmware upgrade page. Before upgrading, make sure both the AC switch on the main panel and the DC switch on the EP900 are turned off. Once completed, it'll prompt that you're up to date. In advanced settings, you can set grid consumption settings, feed to grid, and others. Tap here, you can unbind your Bluetti account with the EP900.